and asked me today. Shane just announced that he's, an, he's a Florida Gator fan, but you were at the Auburn game. I was. It was a, it was a uh, unique experience, I'll say. I've been to a lot of football games. That was, um, that was the most exciting one I've been to. That was Thanks for bringing that up. Was. Yeah, it was, it was a good, good ball game. It really was. You have a new uh, you have I one have we Shana. haven't met yet. I have Shannon DeFazio here. Hi, nice hey, Shannon. Nice good morning. Shannon is one of our agents. Um, she is uh, she's doing a real good job, and um, we're glad to have her. We all got what about forty down there, don't you? I'm not bunch. We have thirty six. Thirty six. And moving on up, and uh, Mark probably sleeping late today. <laughs> Mark is actually in Montgomery today. He's down at the board. So. He does a lot of traveling, trying to stay. Up on what's going on. That's in the right. Real that's right. He is actually down there um, working with RPAC, which is basically um, uh, the they're the part that goes to the um, the State Department okay. for us. Yesterday, I was, I was walking to one of the Huntsville stations, and they interviewed a real estate agent and uh, talking about this Boeing plant coming in. Now, what would that do? What does that say? Employ six thousand people or something? What would that do to this market if that comes in over at uh, where Boeing owns all that property at the airport? Got six thousand jobs. It'd be huge. It huge. would be. That'd make up for us not getting Volkswagen a couple years ago. That's wouldn't right. It? No. Uh, yeah. And all right, some. Shannon. How long have you been in real estate? Uh, two years. All right. All right. What'd you do before that? Um, I have an engineering background. All right. Just got bored. Oh. I just had to be out in the field dealing with people. I, I love people. A lot more fun than sitting behind a desk. So you're out in real estate now. What's uh, what to you? What makes Marmac? And Marmac's one of the leading real estate agents. And if you want to list a home anywhere in this part of the country, call them today and get that listing done. There you can call Mark himself, or just call anybody. Shannon or Shane over that way. Shane runs everything. Shannon's over there, part of that now, World Central Parkway. What is it about working for Marmac that you like so much? Well, Marmac is unique. Um, the people there are just, we're like a family. I mean, we have Shane between Mark and Mike. I mean, it, it, I could not imagine working for anyone better. I mean, it's just such an amazing family atmosphere. And when you enjoy that, I mean, I, I think you just, you do great things. Did Mike survive the week? <laughs> he did. Well, I know he's oh. a big. I was really wanting him to be here this morning, but... Oh. He had a, you know, he does our um, real estate school at night, right. and um, he had to do that last night. Now, how often do y'all have the class? Monday and Thursday um, at six, it's generally six to nine. You know, talking about Mark and what makes you guys so special, too, is, you know, Mark, for instance, not just being, not lazy, but not going forward to find out what else is going on in the market. And I mean, he's up to date on all of Absolutely. it. He's, I mean, he's on the edge. And Absolutely. His experience speaks a lot. Well, and it shows. I and mean, he's we're, and we're, we're generation we're growing. Yeah, yeah. He's, he, he told me I think he went one family through a the grandfather or the old day on the line there. That's right. You always hear about car dealers talking about, oh, yeah, repeat customers come back all the time. But when you're selling a house, I mean, that's a huge investment, and he has so many repeat. That's Do y'all see right? yes. it's the, There was a thing in Sunday paper on it and here a couple Zorro weeks ago, behave. and it was showing that, uh, <laughs> well, I, know, I know the feeling, <laughs> and it showed that here in Athens, Limestone County, sales had gone up 17% from a year ago. Do y'all see that going all over the areas that y'all service right now? It, it, it's up. Um, our home value prices, our prices going back up also? A little bit. What so is the one thing you tell customers to do um, that maybe they're a little bit stubborn? You know, we talked with Mark about if that don't belong in the room, get it out of here. Declutter. Declutter is things. a big Declutter's thing. the biggest? Yes. Um, I like to say, picture when you go into a fancy hotel room, which sounds silly, um, you know, there's no clutter out, and you have your nice towels and your nice soaps, and those make such a big difference. Mm -hmm. um, the pictures, um, not too many family pictures on the wall, because when you walk in the well, house, you're telling you me I'd never picture. be able to sell my house, because there's pictures of me everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you well, want to picture we're living in it in now. <clears throat> you know, you want to see what you would look like in the house. You try to picture <laughs> your items in that house. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Mark told me he never sold a museum because he's been in our house before. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. What, what is the, how are, what's the average market right now that's selling? 150 to 250, something like that? Mm -hmm. 130 to 175 is the kind of the median. Okay, so the high upper end homes still aren't catching fire like back years ago, but if boy were to but come But it's getting in, better. Yeah. It's getting better. That's good news. If y'all see anybody in the market for a house that's 
bigger than they need. <laughs> Over a million, call me. I'd love to make a profit. Uh, anything about, what else do we need to know, Shannon, about you and your tie in down there now with uh, Mark and Shane and Mike and everybody? Um, give me a call. I would love to help in buyers and sellers. and I, I really think it's special. Um, Athens, Decatur, Huntsville, we have the historic homes. I really love mm -hmm. working with the historic homes. Um, I find you a happy realtor. Call yeah. her. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Very happy. Yeah. All right, Shane, what else we need to know about what's happening down at Marmac? Um, you know, we've had a good year. Um, got a great team. Uh, really, really feel positive about this next year coming up and then next five years basically that we were looking at uh, here in the last couple of weeks we've got some good things going on um our biggest focus right now is listing those houses right you got a lot i don't know how many listings y'all carry at one time but i know it's a ton down that way exactly. and you are able to assist anyone from horse farms to whatever she's been up here with us too you need to give shannon a call or give all the group over there also, call don't forget you know i know it's christmas time and the i mean everybody if you want to the thrift shop. Clear out, yes, clear out your house. Exactly. Get rid of some good items that you know you're not going to use. Call them. They've got a great charity. And we've got like a truckload of uh, stuff we now. We so need we to bring old baby-related items. So do you know what the need is right <laughs> now? I think um, a little blankets, bit of everything. Clothes, blankets, blankets warm blankets, things, mm -hmm. um, sweaters, coats. Yeah. So y'all got to look. And don't forget, every Sunday you can see their ads, the first one in the Cater Daily. Right. So just open it up if you want to see something. on I'm sure they can go too. online and check everything out as well. That's right. So if you want to list the house, give Shannon a call today. She'll take care of that. And uh, see, y'all missed the number one subject I was talking about before y'all walked in the door this morning. Lucky you. Uh -oh. What's that? <laughs> you ever been divorced? No. Good for you. Good for you. Shannon has. I have. Oh, oh okay. Thanks. Well, thanks for bringing that up. Don't <laughs> <laughs> think Shannon. No, I am in. I mean, like, she has. I haven't. <laughs> Well, yeah, so, yeah, so <laughs> the question is, here's what dear Abby are, this are morning. Are we on TV? We are. You're live. Here's the question this morning. <laughs> Shannon, I'll talk to you. Okay. This guy is 58 years old, and he's yeah. saying, should he wait? This wife just left him after 33 years of marriage. Walk away. <laughs> Let me ask the question. Get off the Take the wide shot, man. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Here's the question, Mark, and pay attention. Should I wait the appropriate seven years before I date again? Here's the ruler he's going by. He says he's been told that for every five years of marriage, Rick Moe was the only one that knew this because he darn figured his time up. And Mary, thank you for yeah. watching this morning. Every five years you've married, you're supposed to wait one year before you move on to somebody else. Yeah, okay. Have you ever heard that before in your I've life? I've never heard that rule. See, my deal, Shane, was, and the, you know, I've been married go. a couple of times. Well, let's just make it go and tell everybody y'all already know that four times. I never really waited seven, a year or two. I just go ahead. I made my arrangements before I got divorced. That way, it was easier. <laughs> See where I'm going, Shane? Yes, You're absolutely. So yeah. much yeah. Well, I'm back to the Auburn game, so it was exciting, huh? It was. It was. Um... Were you stunned at Bama loss? I was. I'll be honest with you. I didn't expect that. Yeah. <laughs> but, I did, but, I, but, I, but I knew it was going to be close. But I said when the game started, if they let them hang around, I want to beat them. And they did. They did. That's why I didn't want to go to overtime. They did. But uh, it was, it was, it was, I man, I'm going to tell you, Jamie, it was a neat experience. I wish that was there. <laughs> but see, I, mean, it was, I figured neutral. you would be. I'd like kill myself while I'm even there involved. <laughs> I looked all over for you. I couldn't. When we were right there in it, the ESPN, things. we got a big tent there, so. I mean, uh, it was pretty well, neat. Why didn't you invite me? I wouldn't have gone anyway. <laughs> well, because I had a lot of friends there, and I didn't want you to come down there with. <laughs> didn't want me to get around. <laughs> didn't want me around your cat. I didn't want you to get around you down there. You didn't want me to get around your cat. Most of these were all with fans now. Yeah, We had, we had. We had a lot of Alabama. I got to give a shout out to Johnny Lee D, my old buddy over at Cross Point Church. He John was the there. Him and son Jay said they had a fabulous time. Of course, John played at Auburn back in 1932. Special time uh, for them. Hmm? Special time. Shannon, any other questions you'd like to ask me? I think I'm done now that all of my dirty laundry has been aired. <laughs> It's okay. It's well, you never know what Shay's going to say up here. That's very true. You never know what Shay's going to say. They warned you about him. I know. Okay, they didn't warn me about Shane. <laughs> 
Thank you, Shane. <laughs> Marmac Real Estate, list your home. What are y'all laughing about? Y'all are next. Whatever you want to do, Marmac Real Estate, they will list your house today. Give them a call. They are first class and professional. We highly recommend them. Hey, don't forget, coming up a week from tonight, Friday the 13th, over in Hartzell, it's Jeff Whitlow. I'm working here. And the old barn band at the Honky Tonk Christmas, they'll be with us this Tuesday singing some more. Christmas songs. <laughs> Let me take a break, find out what's going on in here. Y'all hang on. I did not know.